Well, students from all across the state showing off their inventions at the state capitol today. News H Jeff Allen on scene with more on that. Yeah, well, some say that youth is wasted on the young. Maybe, maybe not, but ingenuity, certainly not. And if you need any proof, the capital is the place to be today. It's been a great learning experience. Just seven years old and already an invention to her name. The NXT brick is the brain of the white sensor. Easy for her to say, this black ice detector by Emma Ruscio of Southington, yet another child's brainchild, about 100 on display at the Capitol Wednesday, part of the annual Connecticut Invention Convention. This is meant as a time for uh, the children to come and simply be recognized as kids who have stepped forward to try to solve a problem. Many of the ideas, creative solutions to challenges the kids face, like how to feed pet frogs when the family goes away. And there's a motor and there's a conveyor belt, there's upside down studs that have the food. There's a funnel and there's a frog tank. Or retrofitting an electric massager to make chores easier. I wanted to make an automatic pot stirrer, but um, that had already been invented, so I did a pot washer instead. A program that draws as many girls as boys, and in its 29th year, proves there's no limit to imagination. We call them serial inventors. They never look at an item the same way again. This activity provides them a different lens for looking at their world. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Gample Pavilion at UConn, April 28th, will host the final for the year where 700 kids and their inventions will be up for awards. On the scene at the Capitol, Jeff Vallon, News 8.